Hi guys, so as you know, Style Black came out this week and I was so excited about it, I almost ran to my Mac counter to get it, even though I knew they had stuff put aside for me because I was at work and I couldn't get in the morning. So, um, yeah, I've got some other Mac bits and pieces that I've picked up from other collections that I'm just going to shove in. But, um, oh, I'm so excited about Style Black, I'm wearing the eyeshadows just now. I am going to a gig by the way, so I don't mind having totally over the top shiny eyes going on. Um, so, yeah. Where to start, where to start, where to start. Okay, nail varnishes. I got two of these. Everything's still away in the bag, so I'm going to have to dig. I'm running out of room on the table, so I've just left it off in the bag. So, nail varnishes. I got Nightfall and I got Baby Goth Girl. I'm wearing Baby Goth Girl. It's honestly got purple reflex in it. It looks kind of brown, so I think... I don't think this is too out there for people. I think quite a lot more people than you think could wear this. Yeah, this is Nightfall. It's just a really dark, cutie, gunmetal, dark silver, shiny. It's lovely. I think it's going to look really smart on. This is Baby Goth Girl. Because he looks more purple there. And the light catches it. Then on my nails. Um... There was a third one, a kind of black and gold colour, but I'm not a gold fan so I left it. Although, I've seen Makeup by Tiffany's video and she's wearing it and it actually looks really, really, really nice. Um, I got three of the eyeshadows. Again, there was a gold one, I've left that because it's gold. Uh, this is Cinderfella. It's black and silver. I think it's called Cinderfella because it looks like an extremely sparkly bit of coal. Coal, coal can be quite sparkly. I don't know if any knew that or cares. Um, and I got Blue Flame, which is one of the ones I'm wearing just now. This is just like an incredibly sparkly mineralized version of Deep Truth, I think. Um, I've used it wet, that's why there's this funny patch going on there. Where it looks a little bit flatter. And last is my favourite, Young Punk. These aren't quite what I thought they would be, but I still love them, you know what I mean? I think they look far prettier in their packaging, because this is what I've got on my lid. I think they look far prettier in their packaging than they do on, but I do still love them. Um, but yeah, how pretty does that look? Um, so yeah. Mac Marley's eyeshadows are a bit of a pain in the ass. They're you do definitely, definitely, definitely need to use a base. Um, lip gloss wise, I'm sure I put these somewhere else. Um, I got blackware, although now I've got it, I'm not sure I'm going to use it. It is literally a black gloss. I think it'll look nice over reds and stuff. Um, again, there was a gold gloss. They kind of stuck to the same colour theme and all their things. I never got that because I don't like gold. Um, next one's Blackfire. These are both called Glimmer Glasses, but this one literally has no shimmer in it, so I don't know why they're calling them the same thing. Because um, this is a glimmer glass as well, and it's sparkly. I'll get that black back out again, I should put it away. I mean, look, that's just flat black, right? And that's that, but they're called the same name. Because, see, this to me looks more like a cream sheet, and this is like... It looks like a dazzle glass, but once it goes on, it has so much less shimmer than a dazzle glass. And I bought two of these thinking it looked so gorgeous and then I watched Makeup by Tiffany D and she was talking about being disappointed by it and I was like, oh crap. And I went and put it on and it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. But I have it on just now and I really like it over a really deep pink, hot pink lip stain. So, which is good if I anyway like it because I bought, I bought two of them because I thought I loved it and I, I don't. Um... Okay, I'm just going to grab everything else out of this bag so I'm not constantly rummaging in it. There we go, put it away now. Okay, where to start, where to start, where to start. Grease paints, I got three of these. These are like... Kind of like paint sticks, I guess. There's a black, a blue and a purple, but they're all pretty dark, the purple. Um, this is one of these colours that I think I could shove it on as a just really quick blend over your lids, have a pretty eyeshadow look like kind of smoky purple look. Um, they're quite tapered at the end on like the paint sticks. They're a bit creamier because I did play with them on the train a little bit. Because, you know, I was too excited. Um, 
It's hard to tell because I've just got letters at the end and it says B, which is blue apparently, not black. Same as the purple. This is a bit more vibrant than the other colours in this collection because everything is very, very black. I'm oh, sorry, these are actually from D squared, not... Oh shit. That lid came off. Sorry, these are from D squared, not style black, so... That's how to tell that the grease paint black is there. It doesn't have any colour marks on the end, it's just a grease paint stick. It's all black. And again, very pointed end. According to Tiffany, this actually has a purple sheen to it. And I can see what she means. It does have... It's got purple flecks in it. Yay! It's good, because I've already got shark skin, so... I felt a bit daft buying it, but it's got purple in it, so it's okay. Because purple's awesome. <laughs> I'm an addict, okay? Just, just yeah. Um, see line, I get some more of these. Which is great, because I had... I do have another one, but yeah. And as you can see, it's almost still full size because I've been so scared of using it because I don't want it to run out. So I've kept it for special occasions. I'm wearing it today, so I'm going to a gig, and it's just so black. But now I have two more, and I can use it as much as I want, which is great. Um, and then I got one lipstick when I was at MAC, which is really odd, because everything else is really black, and then I bought new drawers. Um, this is a really pretty colour. It's a luster. I love MAC lusters and glaze lipsticks. I could wear them 24-7 because it doesn't matter when... They give you such a nice pop of colour and a bit of shimmer. It's not overly obvious when they start wearing off if you're eating or drinking or whatever. So you don't end up looking like an idiot, which I do most of the time when I wear lipsticks because it wears off in patches. <sighs> that was a long sentence. Okay, so a while before that I was in MAC and I bought one of these Upstarts kits. This is the only one that I seem to be able to get. There's none on MAC's website. In fact, last I checked, Stalebach wasn't even on the UK MAC website yet. I don't know what that's about. And I really wanted the Upstarts kit with the Fix Plus in it. Anyway, this was £22 and what you've got is... You've got Zoom Lash, a mini... Um, is it night... <sighs> What's it called again? Night Sky Soft Sparkle Pencil. Um, I've not really played with this yet. I keep meaning to try out the eye makeup remover. Which kind of spoils what's coming up next. But anyway, you know now. So you've got a really tiny pro eye makeup remover. I think if I like this, I would go buy the full size rather than keeping using this one. Because this is quite good for when I'm going away rather than taking a full bottle. You know, because this is my Urban Decay one that I normally use. I'm going to do a video comparing these two, actually. Um, so, yeah, it's really cute. And then Prep and Prime Lash. So, this kit costs £22. I've went on the website and I've checked. These two on their own cost £22. So, you're essentially getting them and the wee case for free. Not that I'm overly excited by the case. But I think the case would be quite good for taking pencils in and maybe some of my shorter brushes and this and my mascara so yeah I think I can use the wee case but um yeah I really wanted the one with Fix Plus because I want to try Fix Plus but I'm not sure how much I'm going to end up using it so the idea of having a wee one that's that kind of size would be great because again it's portable and if you don't like it I haven't shelled out that much money because in general the stuff in this kit is worth far more than what you actually pay for it so, I would really recommend going and getting one of these kits if your Mac's got more than I have. Because, yeah. So sad, I want the other one. Anyway, I better go because I'm going to a gig tonight. And, um, as you can see, I've done my hair. My hair is all sitting nice. My makeup, I'm quite loving it. But, uh, I'm still in my sheep pyjamas. So, yeah, I'm going to go try and find some clothes. <laughs> Bye, guys.